This is fireweed. Isn't it freaking magnificent? many funny names for a toilet and I am going to be building a composting toilet for the last three years I have been using this toilet is an old one that originally actually came with my uh, mystery van I'm gonna put that syrup into some gin. So I've gotta go get some gin soon and I'm gonna make a fireweed gin liqueur by putting a simple fireweed syrup in it. And I'm really excited. Fireweed liqueur using my own fireweed liquid and this delicious seaside gin, and we'll mix them together. Potion making! It's already an amazing cocktail, but now we're gonna add this fireweed syrup what look at that <sighs> wow that is amazing this purple color comes from uh, when adding the lime juice one for you one for me cheers made the right size for these size bottles.
know if anyone has ever told you that medicinal plants that are struggling actually have more potent medicine than those that are thriving. And I just couldn't help but think of that kind of ironic human metaphor of things that make you stronger as a human. And I'm gonna put these flowers in oil and make some St. John's wort oil. And hopefully, with their bright sunny nature, they will help keep me in a bright and sunny disposition too. Yay for medicinal plants! But time to pick a small jar of flowers and remember when you're foraging, don't pick every single flower from a single bush. Leave some for the bees. Mm. Thank you little plants. Thank you nature. Thank you for sharing your goodness with me. Can't wait to make magical things with these flowers. Hi everybody! We got a bit of a, a sticky situation today. It's all about the toilet, the loo, the John, the pooper, the Danny, the long drop, the... Oh, there's so many. So many funny names for a toilet. Now you can buy just this plastic urine diverter quite cheaply online. So I got gifted this one, so that makes my pr price way cheaper. I purchased this, which is a pipe reducer. So it goes from this size down to that size. And on the inside, beautifully contained. I can't actually see it, but it does it in a way that's not gonna collect any nasties. It's pretty, as pretty as a house full of natural wood colours to have a naturally wood colour toilet seat matching <laughs> even though it's going to be stored in this cupboard but you know, you get the idea so I went to my local hardware store and picked up storage bin. This one's semi-transparent which will be helpful for seeing how full it is. And then from Canadian Tire or Auto Shop I got this oil pan drain. The reason I like this is because it has an air vent and multiple holes for draining and emptying it. Cut the hole for the toilet seat and the urine diverter right there straight into this jug and then I might find that this is 9.5 liters I may find that this is not big enough over time I might want a bigger one but I still have a decent amount of space to find something that could be bigger if I wanted to thinking about how to cut this thing and I've got a jigsaw I've got a craft knife but before I try those two options I wanted to try this option this option. So cool. It's just melting straight through this. Yes. That worked way better than I expected. Oh, I totally didn't expect that to work. I thought that was gonna be like a ha ha YouTuber tries a funny prank, doesn't actually work, tries more sensible practical solution. No, it worked fine. Oh, hang on, that was super, super freaking, freaking efficient. Okay. This, oh look, it sits very nicely. Very, very nice. Do you look at that? Today is the day I have been procrastinating for months. Not months, weeks and weeks and weeks. Time to build a toilet. Time to try and figure out how to make all of this stuff, which has now become a slight storage thing, 
into a functioning composting toilet. This is my PowerPoint once it's all wired in for my fridge that will go back on that wall. So, first thing to do, measure it. Yeah. And then the width of it. It's beautiful. This is the problem I'm running into. Have a look. I want to attach a side pole, but at the moment this is on a crazy angle because this thing is tapered. So I'm going to have to cut the plastic right there. I'm going to do it by turning my stove on, heating up this knife. As you can see, I've done it before. That's how I cut this out and chop boop boop little corner out and then this bin won't be able to move anywhere it'll be held really really stable yay okay let's play with fire <laughs> <laughs> all right we are heating our knife to cut the plastic look it just cuts like butter boop Ah, magical. You appear to have done a very fine job. True Sagittarius style, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of fire, and it fits like a glove. Progress update! So, I have put our toilet floor, toilet box floor, four posts, and three braces. And it is solid. I've cut out the piece of wood for the top, gonna screw it in, let me show you. So, piece of wood for the base, four posts are attached, these two are slightly angled so that this is like the snuggest fit and it will slide in and out just like that. This can be also removed for dumping from the front and it fits beautifully in between these poles with these cutouts. I am thrilled with how this is coming together. Screws. I'm gonna screw, screw, screw. And it was going so swimmingly until it wasn't. So I run into a small issue. Partially maths, partially not maths. Uh, I have misaccounted for the fact that my hinges stick out by about this much. Let me show you. They're in the way and it won't fit. Ah! This is wonderful, exciting, and equally frustrating, but I will figure it out. It'll happen. We just gotta figure out what to do about that. Anyway, I just moaned and groaned if it didn't record. It's <laughs> making a whole lot of frustrated noises. Bye bye door. You want me? A work in progress that I'm. <sighs> I think the other thing is, is the temperature has risen by about 10 degrees, and my brain is like functioning by a bit 10 degrees less. <laughs> now I'm just making excuses. The moment has come where it becomes a toilet instead of a box. Let's cut a hole. Look at that beauty hole. Perfect. Sit. Ooh. <laughs> Second piece of plywood to strengthen this. And this has got a pretty finish to it. But next job, I'm gonna draw two holes so that we have space for these hinges to go without putting any strain with the height difference. Woo hoo! 
then I think I need to put a piece of wood here and here for it to drill through and grab properly because this is only a thin piece of plywood. Let's do that. The toilet! It is finished! Wow, look at that. Oh, imagine it with beautiful faces on it. I'm gonna pull it out, put the brakes on, and sit on the throne like the true king. Yeah! <laughs> I have a pooper, I have a throne, I have a dunny, I have a long drop, I have a shitter and a throne! <sighs> Hooray! <sighs> Yay! And a huge thank you to my Patreon who's helping me out with all this. You're the best. So we went and picked some <laughs> cleavers which we can also eat. Uh, dill. Dill. There's a broccoli, which you are very good at spotting. Uh, basil, lettuce, shit ton of kale, a couple of pieces of chard, uh, and some basil, and some basil mint. No, I was just like, oh, I better not crunch my chips. Oh no, you can crunch your chips. <laughs> you can be the off-camera voice that I talk to as opposed to just talking to myself like a crazy person. Most of the time it's just me being like, blah, 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 talking to nobody. Well, talking to everybody on YouTube, but they're not there. They're not here. They're not in my living room for dinner. They're not my guests of honor for the night. Oh man. Garlic scapes are in here. Plugged in. The world's tiniest blender. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. So I don't think these leaves are going to be heavy enough to blend on their own. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What kind of nuts? Cashew nuts. Okay. Cashews now because you know pine nuts are incredibly expensive. Wow. It even looks like pesto. It sm smells like kale. Alrighty. Now we've added nuts. Now I want to add cheese. It's Parmesan cheese. Looking freaking excellent. The trick that brings it all together is olive oil. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's full of oil. Mmm, it looks delicious. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's very strong in the garlic. Mwah! So good. Just making a salad for dinner. I put in some haricots, some cannellini beans, some chopped up kale, some lettuce from my garden, some broccoli, I had a one broccoli head, some fennel, and some basil. Ooh, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, You're so there's kidding. beans, bacon, bacon. Uh, pesto from there, lettuce, broccoli, uh, kale, dill, and basil. Fennel? No, yeah, not dill, fennel. Fen oh, yeah. But only a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna wrap it in here, so help yourself. Mm -hmm. Looks freaking amazing. How much do you think it'll hold? Maybe only a tiny bit more, because you still want it to be able to wrap up.
that pesto you could just eat with a spoon, seriously. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm -hmm. Yum. If you want more salad, you just have a whole hell in a bowl. Mm -hmm. That was worth the effort. Drying lavender, there's so much of it. Thank you so much for watching. And a huge thank you for my Patreons, which helps support me, encourage me, and thanks so much for your help, specifically uh, in this video making my composting toilet. If you wish to join my Patreon, these plant profile pages are now available. They're watercolor paintings, uh, plant information, and recipes. Much love, see you next week, bye!